that's the waste of time. Like, for example, if somebody's uh, a manufacturer company wanted to, to get those displayed together, uh, they wouldn't need to be that. Yeah, or like design. So my name is Maurice O'Connell. I'm going to talk to you today about the Feature Vehicle Program. I want to talk to you about a lot of the opportunities uh, that the program offers to use the exhibitors. Some of these opportunities you may not be aware of. Some of these opportunities are actually new. So I think this is a great opportunity to talk to all of you about it. And, you know, every day I talk about this program. My name is on the rules and the regulations, so people email me. I deal with the customer service number, so I get a lot of phone calls about this program. A lot of times it's people who are just calling up and they're going, how do I get my vehicle in? I was like, well, do you have a connection to an exhibitor? No. I don't know anybody else want to get my vehicle into the program. This program is for you guys. It's for you guys to display your products, display vehicles that you want to get out there. But I want to start off by talking about why the program actually was started by CMO. It was started as a way to help the smaller exhibitors. Exhibitors and 10 by 10s who may want to grow, but financially they may not be there quite yet. So this was an opportunity that we could give to you guys, the exhibitors, at a cost-efficient manner. So it was a way, and we're gonna go through the pricing a little bit later, but it's a cost-efficient manner instead of expanding your booth to have a vehicle outside of the show and de demonstrate products. Last year was actually my first SEMA show, and one of the things I heard from a lot of people who brought their vehicles is, we're the show outside of the show. Very true words. You know, people, thousands and thousands of people are getting off the shuttle buses and the shared rides, and this is what they're seeing. We internally like to refer to it as an extension year booth. Like I said, the whole point of starting the program was to allow you to expand your footprint at the show. One of the greatest pieces of advice I've ever gotten in my life is you never get a second chance to make a first impression. What does that mean for this show? The first impression people have of the show is the feature vehicle program. It's also the first impression they have of your products. So some key information, like I was saying before, cost efficiency. If you are a SEMA member, it's $399 to enter a vehicle in the program. If you're not a SEMA member, it's $499. Again, this is all about you guys, the exhibitors. So we guarantee at least one space for every exhibitor. We do not want somebody selling it for a third party, so again, it's the exhibitors who are sponsoring the vehicles. Additional vehicles can be submitted, but we, we cannot promise the placement for all of the additional vehicles. We're gonna go into the ranking a little bit later, but placement of the vehicles is decided by show management. I know a lot of people wanna be in very specific spaces, and we're gonna go over that a little bit later, but we do go over the applications and the photos of the vehicles, and we place the vehicles in the best possible locations. There are no bad locations. Tens of thousands of people are walking by these vehicles at any point during the show. We encourage you to put some sort of information, a descriptive sign by your vehicle. So this way people know a little bit about the vehicle, the products that are being displayed in there about the builder. We do not want, however, people to leave a tray of business cards or to be handing out flyers. Unfortunately, people do that and they wind up on the ground. It doesn't look good. And we're talk, gonna talk about some other opportunities we have to make sure that people know why your vehicle is there. So how do you get into the program? It's one of the biggest call, questions that I get on the phone calls. The ESM, SEMA show forward slash ESM. That's where you get, if a lot of the questions that I get, it's always go to the ESM, go to the ESM. It's an intimidating page with a lot of information, but on the left-hand side, about seven down, is the vehicle information. It's where you're gonna be able to get the rules and the regulations as well as the application. When the application is submitted, it's kind of a two-pronged basis. A lot of times it's the builder who submits the application. So they're gonna get an email confirming that we got the application. It's not a confirmation that the vehicle's in the program, but it's confirmation that the application was successfully submitted. The exhibitor is gonna get an email. That email is a payment link. It's confirming that you want that vehicle at the show under your name and that you are paying for it. The deadline to enter vehicles is July 31st. Cannot stress this deadline hard enough. This is a firm deadline. It's not, you call me up and you go, Maurice, it's August 1st, can I still get my vehicle into the program? No, you cannot. July 31st is the deadline because what's gonna happen is after that, I'm gonna start looking at all the exhibitors who have multiple vehicles in the program. 
and I'm gonna send out an email and it's gonna say, please rank these vehicles. We're not just gonna say, this was the first vehicle that you put in or the last vehicle that you put in, so this is your guaranteed spot. We want you to choose what your guaranteed spot is. So you are gonna then rank your vehicles and we do our best to accommodate, and if we can't, then the placement of the vehicle itself, um, there's a couple of different things, and we're gonna go into that a little bit later, but the, we guarantee that you have a place within the program. So by August 16th, we will be sending out a confirmation that your vehicle has successfully made it into the program. So this way, people aren't going, wow, am I in, am I not? Am I? You're getting the phone calls from the builder. You're gonna know, we're gonna communicate that to you. Check-in. Cannot stress this enough. Arrive on time. Arrive at the right date, arrive at the right time. I cannot tell you how many people showed up last year a day late and thinking that they could still come in and they wouldn't have to wait. Again, we, are, we, we do our best to try to get the vehicles as quick as possible. We know that people have traveled here. We wanna make sure that you're getting through very, very quickly, so arrive on time. Have your confirmation. People show up, they have no confirmation. I had one person show up last year and they said, I was told to be here. Well, great, but unless you give me a confirmation, a credential, a badge like you're wearing here, you're not getting your vehicle in. So make sure that the drivers have the confirmation. The rules and the regulations, also very important. Make sure not just that you have read the rules and regulations, make sure that the drivers have read them because there are certain things that we do not want them doing and nobody needs a surprise at the last minute. Be prepared for security checks. Security is a primary focus of this show. So when the vehicles arrive, they go through the canine units, Las Vegas Police Department, we have the canine units here, they go around the vehicles, they, they put the mirrors underneath the vehicles. Nobody thinks that, listen, we all have to make sure that everything's safe. It's not a delay, it's all a part of the process. Where do you check in? The Platinum Lot. There's one entrance into this lot on Sierra Vista between Swenson and Cambridge. We have signage at different places around the lot telling people where they go in. When we send you your confirmation, we send you the instructions as well. But again, make sure your drivers know that they're going in at Sierra Vista. It's the only way to get in. When you get into the lot, we stage you. And then when we're ready to move you over, you're escorted over by um, our floor managers in golf carts or teamsters in golf carts. And then we bring you across to where you're gonna be parked and that's where we set you. While you're waiting in the lot, take advantage of the things that are there. Optima is there giving free batteries. Mothers is giving some car care products. We also have a couple of other companies giving information on detailing. And then the drivers will receive a form allowing them two registration badges at $40. It's only two badges, but they have to make sure that they have that form, they get it when they check in. Rules and regulations, starting vehicles during show, prohibited. It could mean that we would tell you to take the vehicle out of the show. Vehicles must remain in position until 4 p.m. on Friday. We do not want vehicles coming in and out on whims. We had an issue with that last year. We addressed it, and that exhibitor is not coming back next year. We cannot stress this enough. You cannot treat this like a drive through When we place you, it needs to stay there. Firearms, weapons, any kind of display piece, even if it's a display piece, um, is, not, is not allowed. So if you're building something or somebody's building something and part of the thing is a prop machine gun, it is not allowed. It will be removed immediately. Cannot stress that enough. No burnouts or revving your engines. Um, no horn blasting, again. You know, at the show, we wanna make sure that people are viewing the vehicles and they're enjoying them. And some of these horns are like train whistles. They are very loud. So respect the people around you. New for 2019, some of you may have already downloaded the show app. If you haven't, I highly recommend that you do. It'll help you get around the show. Recommend that you tell people coming to meet you to download the show app. Um, the navigation systems there will help people um, guide their way through the show, but new for this year is gonna be a feature vehicle program app um, within the app. Uh, people walk by these vehicles and they go, what's the connection? Well, we're gonna have a barcode that's gonna be delivered on your confirmation, so when you walk by a vehicle, you can scan that barcode, learn a little bit more about the vehicle, the builder, and the products 
inside of the vehicle, as well as your booth number. So this way they can go and see you later and talk about the vehicle that they saw. Directing the attend people to you, the tens of thousands of people walking by the vehicle, they want, we want them to go to you. We don't want it just to be, wow, I saw this great car. We want you to point out the car to them. We want them to be pointed out to you. Sponsored vehicle positions. So a lot of people want to be in very specific spaces. You know, they want to be, pick their spot. If you want to pick your spot at a more premium location, it has a more premium rate. It's about $2,000 and you work with your sales rep to designate where you want to be. It's first come, first serve. Some people have already chosen positions. If you're interested in it, talk to your sales rep about it. They can advise you what's available. They can go over the short floor plans with you and they can help you a great deal. And one of the things that some people have been doing this program for years don't even realize is there's something that we have on the ESM it's called products for project vehicle builders. Again, this is an opportunity for you to connect with builders. You go onto the ESM, you put in your information about products that you have available to builders and that you're willing to give. And a lot of times it's how builders and exhibitors get together and that's how they find somebody to sponsor for the show. But the form on the ESM will, after you put in your information, will be published in e-news. So there'll be a listing of your company, the products that you're gonna be offering, and then they can connect with you when they look at e-news. The deadline for this is October 4th. You must have your products listed by October 4th. My email address, my direct line, even my mobile number. Once we get to showtime, you're not going to reach me in Diamond Bar. Yes, sir. So the folks that bring in the, the vehicle, say it was coming in from Chicago, they would get separate badges besides the folks that are already... They'll get a form. So the driver or the person who comes with the vehicle, they will get a form when they arrive. And it'll basically be something that they can deliver, show to registration, and that'll allow them two badges at $40. So okay. they need to be able to pay gotcha. for the registration badges. But they have to have that form. Gotcha. And we do not give a, I lost my form, can I get another one? <laughs> so once we give the form, you have your form. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, sir, could you go one more time? They still need to pay for an additional badge if they're already part of the show. That's if they have their badge, they don't need to pay anything additional. This is a hospitality that we offer to the drivers who are coming uh, to the show that, you know, they didn't register, but they want to go to the show because they may have driven it across country or something like that. So this is a way for the people who are coming with the cars to access the show. Yeah, so a lot of times, like for example, if somebody's uh, a bunch of to get those displayed together.